Hello my school and welcome to my school channel. My name is Alexandra and we'll be tackling jam pass questions for the subject government year 2018. Don't go anywhere, stay with us and we'll be right back. Welcome back to my school channel. Right here, we'll be tackling question 21 to 40. Now, let's begin with question 21. The major difference between a state and a nation is that the latter presupposes a dash. Option A, heterogeneous. Option B, homogeneous population. Option C, well defined territory. Option D, more organized system. The answer to this question is homogeneous option b is the correct answer to this question homogeneous simply means um of the same kind while heterogeneous means of different or diverse character or culture the word latter here means um the second okay it's used to refer to this to the second term but if we add former we're referring to the first term so we have two terms a state and a nation but then the question is asking about the latter which is a nation so the element of nation or the element making up a nation is a group of people unity and common consciousness okay those are the three important elements in a nation and these are people or persons with the same mind or the same cultural background okay but when we talk about heterogeneous we're looking at population we're looking at territory we're looking at government and we're looking at sovereignty. Those are the four elements that are peculiar to a state and it is of diverse culture, okay? Heterogeneous in nature. Option B is the correct answer to this question. Question 22. The primary function of the judiciary is to dash. Option A, interpret laws. Option B, make laws. Option B, regulate behavior. Option D, execute laws. The answer to this question is interpret laws option a is the correct answer to this question but do not forget that the judiciary is one of the three arms of government and uh, we have legislative which makes law we have executive which implements law and finally we have the judiciary which interprets law option a is the correct answer to this question Question 23, a constitution of any country is basically dash. Option A, a mere piece of paper. Option B, a guide to how the country should be governed. Option C, a document stating what the leaders should do. Option D, a document stating how to acquire power. Now, the answer to this question is option B, a guide to how the country should be governed. Don't forget that a constitution is a body of agreed rules and principles stating how the powers of governing a state is given and how these powers are to be exercised okay so the question of um, constitution or the basis of which constitution is being formed or established is to answer the question how okay how should it be done how should it be exercised and all of that so option b is the correct answer to this question question 24 the highest decision making body in nigeria under the buaris military regime was dash option a armed forces voting council option b supreme military council option c national council of states option d federal executive council the answer to this question is supreme military council so supreme military council had its chairman in person of muhammad buari and it was also acting as the head of the states at that time do not forget that the supreme military council was the council that ruled nigeria after the 19, 1983 coup d'etat, okay? So option B is the correct answer. However, Armed Forces Ruling Council was established by Brian Babagida and it came into being after the 1985 coup d'etat, okay? Which overthrew Muhammad Buhari. The answer to this question is Supreme Military Council, option B. Question 25, a system of government in which the central government is supreme over other levels is option a totalitarian option b confederal option c federal option d unitary the answer to this question is unitary do not forget 
that the unitary system of government is a system of government in which a single central government has the total control over other levels or over other subvisions. Option D is the correct answer to this question. However, totalitarian is a centralized system of government characterized by a um, presence of dictatorship. It requires a complete submission of the state. And option B, confederal means the union of a state. Option C, federal means division of political authorities. Okay, so option D is the correct answer to this question. Do not forget to take practice questions with our simulated jam. CBT pass questions, all you need to do is click on the link in the description below. It takes you to my school website. There you can download my school mobile app for your Android phones and my school software for your computers and laptops. Go ahead and download and start practicing this question. Now, moving over to question 26. The main source of local government finance since the 1976 reform has been dash. Option A, local rates. Option B, levies. Option C, revenue from court fines and, license, um, and licenses. Option D, the federal government. The answer to this question is the federal government. The federal government has been the major source of um, finance to the local government from 1976. Option D is the correct answer to this question. I believe you're enjoying this content. If so, do not forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button and tap on the bell notification to get informed as soon as we release the next videos. Question 27. Nigeria is a member of DASH. Option A, OPEC, NATO and ECOWAS. Option B, OAU, the UNO and ECOWAS. Option C, ECOWAS, NATO and OAU. Option D, the Commonwealth of Nations, OPEC and the OAS. The answer to this question is option B, OAU, the UNO and ECOWAS. So Nigeria is not a member of NATO and OAS. NATO meaning North Atlantic Treaty Organization and OAS meaning Organization of American States. So Nigeria is not a member of those two bodies. So we have OPEC meaning Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries. We have ECOWAS which means Economic Community of West African States. OAU meaning Organization of African Unity, UNO, United Nations Organization, the Commonwealth of Nations. So the answer to this question is option B. Question 28. In the old oil empire, the Ajali Dash. Option A, mobilized the army. Option B, ensured good governance of the district. Option C, was the head of the army. Option D, ensured the safety of the trade routes. The answer to this question is option B, ensured good governance of the district. So, the Ajale is the name or is the word used to describe the political agents appointed by the oil empire to supervise its interest and to monitor commerce. So, the answer to this question is option B. Question 29. A bylaw is made by option A, parliament, option B, congress, option C, an electoral college option D the local government the answer to this question is local government so bylaws are made by local government or organizations or corporations public corporations the answer to this question remains option D question 30 a human community that is usually cohesive and homogeneous is a option a clan option B states option C nation option D kingship the answer to this question is nation we can see the question homogeneous and we know that homogeneous is attached to nation okay so we have homogeneous population in a nation as opposed to option b states where we have heterogeneous so heterogeneous means different in cultural background but nation means the same okay it could be the same um, consciousness or the same goals or the same cultural background option c is the correct answer to this question Question 31. A true democracy in the modern sense exists where the dash. Option A, elite rules. B, elected representative rule. Option C, majority of the people vote. Option D, majority of the people rule. The answer to this question is option B, elected representative rule. So a true democracy is a government where people 
exercise their governing powers through their representatives. The representatives are elected through election, a free and fair election. So option B is the correct answer to this question. Question 32. A state that is ruled by an elected citizen is option A, an empire, option B, a monarchy, option C, a republic, option D, a plutocracy. The answer to this question is a republic. A republic is used to describe a state in which the supreme power rests on the body of citizens who are entitled to vote and choose their representative. Option C is the correct answer to this question. But then when we look at an empire, an empire has to do with a sovereign state. A monarch is um, a form of government in which a monarch rule. And when we talk about a monarch, we mean a queen or a king. And plutocracy is a system of government in which the world they rule. So option C is the correct answer to this question. Question 33. Political socialization is associated with option A, free choice of party programs, option B, military takeover of civilian government, option C, the transmission of political values, option D, political transition. The answer to this question is option C, the transmission of political values. Now, why is this so? Political socialization is a process, a process in which a person learn or acquire political value or what we call political behavior. So that is why option C is the correct answer to this question. Question 34. OPEC has strong influence with the dash. Option A, IMF, International Monetary Fund. Option B, EU, European Union. Option C, ADB, African Development Bank. Option D, AU, African Union. The answer to this question is option D, AU. So we know that OPEC and African Union are organizations that have their members as purely African state or from African states. Okay, they are made up of African states. So we have 55 members of um, the AU and 30 members of OPEC. So we can see from these policies could be influenced by AU and so therefore option D is the only justifiable answer to this question. Question 35. The development of a classless society is the goal of DASH. Option A, liberalism. Option B, Marxism. Option C, conservatism. Option D, feudalism. The answer to this question is Marxism. Marxism is a theory founded by Karl Marx in which he enhanced um, communism. Now, what is communism? Communism is a system in which all properties are owned or controlled by the community and in which a person contributes according to their ability and receives according to their needs. So this develops a classless society. And in other words, this is equity. When everybody has to contribute according to what they have and they have to receive according to their needs. Okay. So option B is the correct answer to this question. Do you have questions you would like to ask? You can go ahead and ask your questions by using the link in the description below. Click on this link, it takes you to my school website. There you can ask as many questions as possible and solutions will be provided to you within a short period of time. Now moving over to question 36. Rhodesia was the former name of option A, Zambia, option B, Nambia, option C, Zimbabwe, option D, Swaziland. The answer to this question is Zimbabwe. So Zimbabwe is the correct name for the former Rhodesia. Do you have explanations or better solutions or better steps to any of those questions? If so, feel free to use the comment section below. Indicate the questions and the solutions you would like to share. Question 37. The Yoruba traditional system of government was option A, monarchical, option B, egalitarian, option C, republican, option D, democratic. The answer to this question is monarchical. Okay, monarchy means or monarchical is a system of government in which a monarch rules. Now, a monarch simply means a king or a queen. And we can see that the Oba was the ruler and was the head of political administration in the Yoruba traditional system. Okay, While the Aosa could be described as theocratic and the Igbo could be described as a quasi-democratic system, we would look at Yoruba traditional system as a monarchical system of government. Option A, therefore, is the correct answer to this question. Question 38. Citizenship of a state by its descent requires that dash. 
Option A, one is born and bred in the States. Option B, one's mother was born in the States. Option C, one's grandparents were citizens of that state. Option D, one is domiciled in that state. The answer to this question is option C. First and foremost, what is citizenship of state by descendant? So this means that the applicant is born in another country but eventually becomes the citizen of is our parent's country. Okay, so that's what it means. Option B is not enough to be the answer to the question because I cannot, for example, I cannot become a citizen of a state simply because my mother was born in that state. I can only become a citizen of that state by descendants if my mother is a citizen of that state. So option C therefore is the correct answer because it has to do with one's grandparents being a citizen of that particular state. Option C therefore is the correct answer to this question. Question 39. The institutions which constitute the main organ of the government of a nation are dash, option A, trustee and presidium, option B, judiciary and the civil service, option C, legislature, the executive and the judiciary, option D, civil service and the senate. The answer to this question is option C, legislature, the executive and the judiciary. These are the three arms of government or the three main organs of government. Option C is the correct answer to this question. Question 40. One major achievement of the Clifford Constitution was dash. Option A, creating a northern majority in the Legislative Council. Option B, introducing indirect rule. Option C, amalgamating the northern and southern province. Option D, establishing the Legislative Council. The answer to this question is option D, establishing the Legislative Council. Okay. So the Clifford Constitution, one of the merits associated with this constitution was the establishment of the new legislative Legislative Council for the Southern Protectorate of Nigeria. Option D is the correct answer to this question. I believe you enjoyed every bit of this section. Please do not forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button and tap on the bell notification to get informed as soon as we release the new videos.